I don't know why this album is getting so much hate. It's such a great album. Oh my god. This album is trash. It really is so trash. I don't know what else to say it, but it is, it is, it's so trash. I don't, it's just trash. What are they thinking with this album? It's, I am all for when a band changes their sound. I mean, look at why Chapel's album, Mark of the Blade. It's an amazing album. Probably one of my favorite ones, but this album is just, it is terrible. I am going to go track by track and tell you my opinions on these songs. Track one, Doris. But I don't think I need to talk about this one because we already know what it is. Uh, Tee hee. Track two, Silence. It's such a boring track. I don't. When am I listening to this album? If I got to the second track, Silence, then I just already got bored. It was a struggle to get through this album. Track 3 is titled, Listen, and then in some parts of the songs, the uh, sound of suicide silence comes back, but uh, then just goes away. It just goes away. Track 4 is Dying in a Red Room, and I can see potential with this track B because it has like a new metal feel to it, and I think this track sounds pretty good, but the problem is that you go from such a heavy track to this soft track that is like, is this even suicide silence anymore? Like if, like if you got someone who has never listened to this band at all, then you sit them down at the van and say, Hey, listen to this song called You, You, called You Can't Stop Me. And they listen to it. And uh, you say, this is by Suicide Silence, Van. And then you say, listen to this song, song called Dine in a Red Room. And you don't tell them who, who it is. They, they are going to be like, who is this? Because it, it's just soft. I don't like it. It's soft. I mean, I do like it, but it's just... It's soft. Hold me up, hold me down is the fifth track. And this track does have some promise to it. It is a pretty he heavy track, probably the heaviest track on the record, but it's still just... The mix is so bad, I don't know what is wrong with with the mix. The mix in the album You Can't Stop Me, it was really really good, but this mix is just, it's awful. Track 6 is Run. Okay, so this track. I did a reaction to uh, this track. You can watch my video right here or where, wherever those annotation things are. But this track, Run. It, the uh, chorus to me, the uh, chorus is what this a album should have sa sounded like. The chorus sounds really, really good, but but the rest of the song is just, it is bad to me. But I don't know what else to say about it. It's just bad. Track seven, the zero. Throw it out the window. Just just throw it out the window. It sucks. Track eight, conformity. It's another slow track, but it's it still sucks. Just throw it out the window again. It. It sucks. And track 9, don't be careful, you might get hurt. This track is just... I don't like this track at all. It's awful. All these tracks are awful. It has bad lyrics, it has bad guitars. Throughout the album, I don't even notice that the guitars are, are there, because like it's just bad. Of course you got like a couple guitar solos, but it's just, it's still bad to me. It's coming from a guy who loves their last album, You you Can't Stop Me. How do you go from something like this 
to this. I don't understand that. What I think they should have done is kept their death deathcore sound, but just do what White Chapel did. You keep your deathcore sound, but you throw in one or two songs with, with cleans. You would just did like a 360 on your whole fan 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 base by by just putting in these awful cleans. Yeah, the cleans are awful. There are some parts where the cleans are good, but like for the mo most part, they are awful. Okay, guys. Well, in this video, I saw one of the funniest memes ever. I'll put a picture in here, but it's so funny. It's about the teehees, but just look at it. It's so funny. As I said before, this album is so boring. It is so boring. It was so hard for me to get through it, too. Probably on like the fourth track, I just, just was just so bored because that track is really really boring. My problem with the album is that it's it feels like there's no effort in it, so boring. It's so generic. Look at White Chapel with Mark of the Blade. That is an amazing album. Then it has cleans, but it is still. Deathcore. Look at Bella Maya's new album, Matriarch. Is that how you said that right? I don't know. But if you look at that album, it has cleans, but it is still an extremely good album. This album is just... It's boring. There's no effort. This is probably one, one of the worst heavy metal albums I've ever heard. It's boring and like I don't know what to say it's it's just boring I hate shitting on a album but it's just I don't know what else to say this out uh, this album is boring leave a like if you enjoyed in the comments below tell me what y'all y'all think do you think it sucks do you think it's good on a scale of 1 to 10, this album is probably a 2 out of 10 for me. Go spend your money on something else. Go spend it on Chelsea Grin's album. Go spend it on White Chapel's Mark of the Blade. It's just, don't waste your money on this album. It is terrible. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, it's been John. Later.